Here are the most interesting animal discoveries. Number 13, Dementor Wasp. The Dementor Wasp, or Ampulex Dementor, is a terrifying little creature. The most terrifying thing about this little thing and the reason for its sensational name is its behavior towards its favorite food, cockroaches. It actually injects a paralyzing toxin into its prey's belly before eating the roach alive. The cockroach is only paralyzed by the toxin, not killed, and has to watch as it's being slowly devoured by the Dementor wasp. Researchers named the newfound wasp Ampulex Dementor, or Dementor wasp for short. The name was inspired by Harry Potter's Dementors, ghost-like creatures that suck away a person's happiness and will to live. In May of last year, researchers described the pacified poison roach to Live Science Magazine as a passive zombie that submits itself to being eaten alive. Ugh. Number 12, Goliath Bird Eater. Here's another truly terrifying, weird entry to this list of assembled weirdos from the animal kingdom. This species was officially discovered in 2006 during an expedition to Guyana. It's a burrowing spider feeding primarily on invertebrates Though, it's also been observed eating small mammals, lizards, and venomous snakes. Wait, what? Yes, it even eats snakes. Fully grown specimens can reach a horrific weight of around 6 ounces, and almost half a pound spider. Thankfully for us, and for any other creature too large for the spider to eat, the Goliath bird eater is a species of tarantula that has relatively weak venom, which only causes mild swelling and pain for a few hours. The only thing that poses the biggest threat to us humans is the Goliath's ability to expel hairs from its body. These tiny, nearly invisible hairs float around through the air and have an awful tendency to stick to the eyes and on the skin. Number 11, Louisiana Pancake Batfish. The Louisiana Pancake Batfish is a bizarre looking creature native to the Gulf of Mexico. The species was discovered in 2010 during the cleanup process following the infamous oil spill in the Gulf one of the most devastating ecological disasters. The Louisiana pancake batfish's name comes from its shape, which quite closely resembles that of an unfortunately prepared pancake. The strange manner it has of moving along the ocean floor is described as being similar to the way a bat crawls. Like other batfish, it has pectoral fins, which resemble limbs. It uses these fins together with their smaller pelvic fins to walk along the ocean floor. The pancake batfish feeds on invertebrates, which it captures using chemical lures. Number 10, Acrobatic Arachnid. This little guy is definitely not about to help anyone get over their arachnophobia. Forget about crawling up your leg or onto your pillow, this spider does gymnastics. This spider lives in the Moroccan sand dunes. The spider hides from predators in its own little sand castles, towers made of silk and sand that also serve as a little bit of relief from the sun. When threatened though, this spider does something really weird. It breaks into a run that soon turns into a tumble. The spider basically starts cartwheeling at six and a half feet per second up and down the dunes. Number nine, sea scorpion. One of the most terrifying things in popular imagination since the Jaws movies has been the mystery of what lurks in the depths of the deep blue ocean underneath us. Sure, sharks are pretty terrifying, but during an excavation of an ancient meteorite impact crater in the upper Iowa River, researchers uncovered that fossilized remains of human-sized sea scorpions with both pointy and paddle-shaped limbs. The sea scorpions likely ate bivalves and squishy eel-like creatures during their day roughly about 460 million years ago. Giant scorpions crawling around the floor of the ocean? Let's just hope they're as extinct as scientists say and you don't bump into one the next time you're on the beach. Number 8. Chicken from Hell Imagine for a second a giant flesh-eating chicken. Well, if you were around, give or take 65 million years ago, you would have had to deal with this nightmare. We all know about the Tyrannosaurus Rex, partly thanks to Steven Spielberg, but researchers recently discovered Big Rex's creepy little feathered cousin. The chicken from hell is an eye-catching nickname, but the newly discovered dinosaur wouldn't have pecked around the front stoop for grubs. This North American dino grew to around 10 feet long and weighed up to 600 pounds. It lived in what is now the Dakotas around the same time as T-Rex and was very likely covered in feathers, 
which somehow makes it way creepier, don't you think? It probably hunted small animals and ate random eggs. It also probably took good care of its own young. Paleontologists have found evidence that this weird, oversized carnivore chicken made nests and brooded over its eggs until they hatched. Number 7. Pig-Nosed Rat Okay, the snout on this recently discovered Indonesian rodent is actually pretty cute, but the same can definitely not be said for its weirdly long front teeth. This pig vampire rat is an elusive rodent from the Indonesian island of Sulawesi. It's a newly identified species and a weird one at that. This little rat has a hog-like nose and oversized upturned teeth that looks a bit like a caricature of a goofy vampire. I had never seen a rat with a nose like that, said Jacob Esselstein, curator of mammals at Louisiana State University's Museum of Natural Science. When I took it out of the trap, I knew it was a new species. There was never any doubt in my mind. Number 6. Fanged Frog The fanged frog doesn't lay eggs like other frogs. Instead, it gives birth to live tadpoles. This is very unusual for an amphibian as most just lay eggs. It was also a very strange discovery for herpetologist Jim McGuire of the UC Berkeley who was on the Indonesian island of Sulawesi when he grabbed what he thought was a male frog. As soon as I picked her up, she squirted tadpoles all over my hand, McGuire told Live Science in December 2014. The fang frog is now the only known frog species to give birth to live tadpoles, although a few species give birth to many, quote, froglets. The live birth thing isn't the only weird thing about this amphibian, though. As soon as you take a good look at it, you might also notice that the frog also sports fang-like protuberances on their lower jaws which they use when fighting. Number 5. Walter's Diker By simply looking at a picture of Walter's Diker, you might think it looks like a pretty standard antelope. But if you ever happen to bump into one next time you happen to be in Togo, Nigeria, or Benin, you'll see what is so strange about it. It is tiny. So tiny, in fact, that first glance you might even mistake it for a dog. Walter's Diker is a fascinating little creature officially discovered in 2010 in the Dahomey Gap, West Africa. The species made its first foray into the world of science in 1968 when Walter Verhan, the man after whom the species is named, retrieved a specimen from Togo. Walter's Diker measures an average of only 16 inches in height and typically weighing 9 to 13 pounds. In addition to its small height, the diker has hind legs which are longer than their counterparts up front. This is particularly interesting given that the diker is not a grazing animal and typically feeds on berries and other similar items of nourishment which grow on plants. Number 4. Red Bearded TT This monkey with its small stature and what looks like an immaculately trim beard looks pretty much like your modern day hipster. The red-bearded titi is a small primate discovered in the Colombian section of the Amazon rainforest in 2008. Unfortunately, their story of discovery is not all happy, as it appears the adorable bearded little things are critically endangered with an estimated surviving population of less than 250. The red-bearded titi, like many primates, shares a surprising number of characteristics with humans. One such characteristic is that they mate for life, an uncommon habit in the primate world. I guess being like the other primates is too mainstream for bearded hipster monkeys. A typical couple has a baby every year and males are responsible for a majority of the infant's care. Couples have often been seen sitting together on tree branches with tails intertwined. Number 3. Pinocchio Frog Pictures of this weird little guy always look photoshopped, but they aren't. It's just strange to see a frog with such a crazy nose. Found in the remote Foja Mountains of Indonesia, the Pinocchio frog is a strange little creature which was only discovered by accident in 2010 after wandering into a research camp and perching itself atop a bag of rice. This creature's most obvious and most distinctive feature is obviously its nose. The super long nose is a feature which only the males have and becomes erect when they're making excited calls and returns to its standard position when they're not excited. The exact purpose of the nose and the frog's ability to manipulate it is still a mystery. Number 2. Speculative Stories Okay, so all of the weird discoveries mentioned so far have been official scientific discoveries. 
There are tons of photos and scientific journals to back up their discovery. The next few entries, however, are a little more speculative. The internet, obviously, is a very democratic place. Anyone can share photos or stories of weird things they find. The problem is that this also means there's a lot of false information out there. So for the next few entries, we leave it up to you to decide. Is it real or is it a Photoshop? Have you ever seen or heard of any of these? Let us know in the comments. Reportedly, a goat with seven legs has been born in Zhao Liu Township, Taunin, Jilin Province in China. The owner of the goat, a woman surnamed Song, explained that it was a difficult birth, but the goat is standing on four of its legs and is feeding. We'll probably count this as a genetic anomaly and not as a new species. The piglet with a monkey's face has a simian jaw, bulging forehead, small snout, and eyes that are so close together that they appear almost attached. Its front legs are much shorter than its back legs, causing it to hop rather than walk on all fours like a normal piglet. The animal was one of five piglets recently born to a sow owned by a family in Fengzheng village, Zhiping Township. We'll count this one as another genetic anomaly as well. A while ago, there was a post that went viral about a deep sea fisherman sharing some photos of some of the weird creatures that end up in his nets. This laughing octopus was one of them, but the post did not include any descriptions or details, only the photos. Do any of you know what this thing is? Have you ever seen one? Number one, Lei Sula Monkey. This monkey is practically begging to be a meme. Its face is so human that it's hard not to laugh at its seemingly overdramatic, resting, sad face. The Leisula is a remarkable new species of African monkey discovered in 2007 in the Democratic Republic of Congo. It's the second new species of African monkey discovered in nearly three decades. The monkey was first seen by non-locals anyway, by John and Therese Hart of Yale University's Peabody Museum of Natural History in the home of a primary school teacher in the town of Opala. The most visible characteristic which makes the Leisula so unusual is its startlingly human face. Some slightly less obvious characteristics are the bald patches on the monkey's hindquarters and its genital region, both of which are colored a vibrant blue. Here's what's next. 